at the halfway point of the high school football season. Welcome to week four of High School Huddle. I'm your host, Lauren Walsh. Now, with three weeks of football in the books, we're starting to see who the top teams really are. And without a doubt, two of them are Burn Burton and Fairhaven. The pair of D2 schools are both 3-0 entering the night, but they play each other, so only one will enter the second half of the season unbeaten. Now, for the Bulldogs, the win would mean a lot, knocking off the defense undefeated defending state champs and for the Slaters they're looking to keep the ball rolling in another dominant season. Burn Burton the first to get on the board here with a quick toss to Jake Nicholson in the end zone. It's quickly six zip Burn Burton. But the Bulldogs aren't done there. Second quarter now Burn Burton up 13-0 and they keep adding on. The ball pitched to quarterback Joey McCoy who breaks through a crowd of defenders and finds his way into the end zone. 20-0 now and the Slaters finally find their way on the board with a fake handoff that even threw off our photographer. We're all human. Aaron Sabo, the only one to carry it in for the Slaters, 20 to 7 after the extra point. But that doesn't deflate the Bulldogs. Still in the second quarter, McCoy's pass pulled down by Logan Morgan, who takes it 15 yards into the end zone. And Burn Burton knocks off the defending state champions by a final of 48-14. Sticking with Division Two in Milton, a pair of one-win teams look to get a second as Mount Anthony visits the Milton Yellow Jackets. Picking things up in the third, Milton up 12-0. Caleb Hay quickly scans the field and rifles it to Gavin Johnson. He's off to the races. He gets through for an 18-7 lead. Later, the Yellow Jackets are now driving. Jacob Lawyer finds Colin Mathis. He'll take it up to the 15 before being downed around the 15-yard line. Now that would set up this play fake from Jacob Lawyer. He takes it himself, going the long way, all the way into the end zone. The Yellow Jackets extend their lead early, 24-7 after the failed two-point conversion. But take a look here. This is how Mount Anthony tries to respond. Caleb Hay fires one off, but the wrong man. That's Milton taking it the other way. He dances around some defenders and gets all the way to the house. Yellow Jackets go for two, making it 32-7, and that'll be your final. A couple other scores in Division Two: Otter Valley at U32. The U32 Raiders go up 52-7, that's your final. Meanwhile, North Country takes the W 36-21 over Spalding. And now we'll shift gears from Division Two to Division One after we take a look at Linden. The Linden Institute Vikings also pick up a win tonight, 22-14. And now we jump into Division I, starting with two Chittenden County teams. And for this matchup, we bring in a new member of our team. Frank DeLuca joins the Local 44 sports crew to help us expand our coverage across Vermont, New York, and New Hampshire. So let's go to Frank right now. He's standing by with our feature game of the night. Frank? Thanks, Lauren. Absolutely thrilled to be here. We've got a matchup right down the road. CBU visiting Colchester High. CHS looking to rebound after its first loss of the season. And CBU, they're still looking for their first win. Lakers averaging over 20 points a game, but were stifled to just 10 last week. They're having a blast because in this one, they came out swinging. Quentin Hoskins gets the handoff. He finds the gap and he is gone. Narrowly avoids a tackle and he gets in for the first score of the game. Less than four minutes in, it's 7-0 Lakers. And just four minutes later, Colchester strikes again. Max Anderson bullying his way across the goal line and it's a very early 14-zip lead. Fast forward to the second now and it's Anderson again. Hits the hole hard, almost untouched and it's just a track meet from there. This score increases the Laker lead to 27-0. But CBU would not be shut out in this one. Alex Murray just gets into the end zone for the Red Hawks only score. Colchester easily takes this one, 48-7. Colchester will look to stay hot next week against Mount Mansfield while CBU will still look for that elusive win and they'll forget this one as they prepare for the Burlington, South Burlington Seawolves. Back to you, Lauren. Thanks, Frank. Elsewhere in Division I, Mount Mansfield visits the Essex Hornets in a new edition of the Route 15 rivalry. And get this, Essex's motto is row the boat, complete with a sign and an actual oar. MMU's motto is burn the boat. I'm told the two team mantras are conveniently unrelated. 
Either way, the Cougars start things off in the first quarter with a handoff to Jarek Hackney, who trucks his way upfield for a 35-yard gain. And it'll be Hackney again to complete the drive. He charges up the middle and into the end zone for an 8-0 lead over Essex after the two points. Nearing the end of the first quarter, the Hornets stay in the ballgame, stopping Hackney in his tracks and forcing a turnover on downs. However, Essex couldn't score on the drive, so it's still 8-0 in the second quarter where Hackney rolls on another touchdown and a 16-0 lead for Mount Mansfield. The Cougars cruise tonight, winning 32-6 over Essex. Staying in Chittenden County, the South Burlington Burlington Seawolves host Brattleboro tonight at SBHS. And the struggling Colonels have yet to pick up a win. They're down 29-0 in the second half. But the Colonels don't lose hope. Chris Frost takes the handoff and scurries in for the score. That makes it 29-7 Seawolves. Brattleboro still trailing, and the Seawolves march down the field again. Here's some of what our cameras missed in the earlier scores. Nico Strempak barges through for the first down, but the Seawolves don't need any more points. In victory formation, they take a knee and take the win. 29-7 over Brattleboro tonight. And we've only scratched the surface of this Friday night slate. Still to come, we'll jump across the lake for some Section 7 action and wrap up Division 1 in Vermont with two teams with identical records clashing in a mid-season battle. Stay with us. Where is Lady?